Hello, so this is the third video of my little series about uh, my favorites from different uh, musicians and uh, we did we did guitarists, then we did singers, now we're doing drummers. These are people that are currently in my uh, collection and currently on the scene. They're certainly not my all-time favorites, that's a different series that we'll talk about. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to run through some people and, and uh, shine a light on these people and... <laughs> and uh, yeah, talk about them. These are some of my current favorites or people I listen to a lot. And uh, they're not in any specific order and there's more than 10. So uh, up first, Dominic Howard from Muse. I'm a big fan of Muse, three piece band, very modern sound and he is a pretty impressive musician. Next up is a real classic and somebody we grew up on. Uh, it's impressive that Nickel McBrain is still playing, touring with Iron Maiden at his age and being able to play behind that giant kit that he has. And uh, he's a classic. He joined up with Maiden on this record and and uh, has been a big part of their success all these decades. Uh, next choice that of course has to be on the list and uh, I only have this one piece of music from them. I'm going to get more because I do love them, love their sound. And that's Tool, Danny Carey. Pretty much an obvious choice to be in any top group of uh, discussion because he's such a wicked drummer. Another wicked drummer to me is uh, Shannon Larkin from Godsmack. He's the guy here with, he's got some, <laughs> lots of hair here and doesn't always now, but uh, Shannon Larkin is a wicked drummer and uh, Godsmack's a great band. So he's a big part of that. Now here's, uh, here's one that made my list because I wanted to mention is uh, Ben Thatcher from Royal Blood. And the reason I'm mentioning him, I mean, two guys, they're a two piece. And this guy and the other fellow that is in his band they do a great job and make a lot of uh, great hard rock for just a two-piece. Pretty impressive. Now here's one uh, that I'll, I may not say his name correctly, Joey M.A., but uh, he's from the band Wolf Alice. Uh, Cameron and I saw them at the Danforth. This is their most recent record, Blue Weekend. But um, why I, I wanted to mention him is I'm a fan of their music, but he's a cool guy. Uh, they play this kind of uh, wild heavy alternative almost tinging on punk especially live and he's the guy that sort of holds the sound together so he's a pretty impressive drummer to me now here's somebody that you just has to be mentioned he's just such an incredible musician and that is matt cameron this is uh, pearl jam live on 10 legs and matt cameron has been on the scene so long and uh, an important piece of the uh, rock hard rock scene and uh you know played with Soundgarden and and now so many decades with Pearl Jam such a good drummer and here's somebody we have to mention because <laughs> like Nickel McBrain from Iron Maiden he's still going still doing it which is pretty impressive and I mean how can you not mention Rick Allen I mean you know here's a drummer think about that a drummer that loses his arm and still continues to be very successful and important for decades in that situation. Very impressive musician. And here's something I wanted to show. This is a, a next pick would be Jeff Burroughs from Tea Party, who are a very favorite three-piece band of mine. And I saw them a couple of times. He's a serious, serious musician that's so excellent. All three guys in Tea Party, because they're a three-piece, are very good. This is just an insert from one of my favorite Tea Party records, the Interzone Mantra. It's pretty cool. Jeff Burroughs. Uh, here's another guy that uh, has been on the scene for a very long time. And uh, Brad Wilk. This is, you know, Brad Wilk was, was and is in Rage Against the Machine. And then he was a big part, one of the members of Audio Slave. Very good drummer. I love uh, his drumming, Brad Wilk. Very good. And here's somebody that uh, is one of my true favorite drummers. I just, his sound is so distinct and so obvious when you hear it. And that is Larry Mullen Jr. from U2. 
you know, sits behind a small kit at times. It's certainly not as grandiose and dynamic as some of the guys on this list, but I just think his sound is so important to U2 sound all these decades. Here's one, uh, Matt Helders from Arctic Monkeys. This record alone gets him a spot on this discussion because it's such a distinct sound again. Very cool, deep beat that he has and uh, an important part of the Arctic Monkey sound. Uh, next up, one of my favorite bands still to this day. I've, I've liked them a very long time. And uh, Will Champion from Coldplay. A band that has put out a lot of great music, modern music. This is their best record, A Rush of Blood to the Head. And Will Champion's a good drummer and has been a big part of the Coldplay material all these years. He's a very excellent musician and plays a big role in the band's sound. And then another one to talk about that's been on the scene a long time, Jimmy Chamberlain. And Jimmy Chamberlain, Smashing Pumpkins, is a, kind of a, a choice most people would make. He is certainly the driving sound, driving force behind the Smashy Pumpkins along with Billy Corgan and uh, Jimmy Chamberlain deserves a mention. So that's my list of drummers. In the next uh, video I'm going to do, I'm going to do, uh, we'll run through my favorite bass, current modern active bass players in rock bands. And uh, I'll come at you with that. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you uh, if you want to, that'd be great. And uh, have a great day. See you later. Bye.